Shalom. I will first off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Raka Kadash. I will send forth double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of Ruel. Shalom, Wabaraki, and Labakari, and peace and blessings to the elect. Glory as well as to edifying video. To those that believe in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Alright, the sincere that's hoping for deliverance and salvation. Alright, it's Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15. It says, Can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Alright, because nine times out of ten, alright, a woman is not gonna lose compassion alright for, for the child that she brought forth, man. Alright, she's gonna feed it. Okay, but sometimes in this wicked society, that's not the case, man. All right, like the scriptures say, the, the, the daughters of my people have become cruel. All right, even the sea monsters uh, draw their breasts and feed their, ch their children. All right, but the daughters, I want to become cruel. All right, because the Israelite, there's a lot of wicked Israelite women out here right now. All right, that lost compassion of the child of her womb, man. All right, but for the most part, that's, that's not taking place, man. All right. It says, yea, they may forget. See, a woman, a, a, a woman might forget her child, man. It says, yet will I not forget thee. But Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, our Lord. All right, we, have, we can have faith and confidence and know all right, that the Lord will not forget us. All right, that he will not forsake us. All right. And that what? He's going to deliver us, man. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah. 29 all right <clears throat> and uh 11 and these are just some of my favorite scriptures i'm just reading them and just going from there man all right because uh you gotta have strong faith in the in the days to come all right all hell's about to break loose all hell's about to break loose and you have to know without a shadow of a doubt that the lord is with you all right and that he's not gonna forsake you all right no matter how dire the situation all right you might be in you gotta just have that confidence man you gotta have that faith all right and the only way to have that true faith is to know these words read these words meditate upon them and believe in them man that's why the scriptures say we um receive with with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul these words are what what are going to save our souls man the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. Alright, this the understanding the truth of these scriptures, understanding the way the Heavenly Father and the Lord thinks. Alright, that's what's gonna give us that's what's gonna keep us uh comfort comfortable. That's what's gonna give us comfort. Alright, in the times when alright, all comfort is gonna be stripped out of the land. Alright, the scriptures speak of uh mirth coming to an end. All right, and all great, you know, calamity is about to come. We already know, all right? We, we can get some scriptures if the, if the Spirit allows. All right, but the point is, man, we just got to know that the Lord is with us, man, and to trust that and, and to never doubt it. And if, if that, that spirit of doubt comes upon you, you rebuke it, man. All right, you send up fervent prayers. The scriptures say the, the, the prayer of the righteous availeth much. All right, but this is Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think Toward you, save Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. It says thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. All right, so the Lord is not out here, all right, uh, meditating on how He's going to destroy us, man. All right, if we be part of the elect, if we if we seek after the Lord in sincerity and truth, all right, the thoughts that the Lord has towards us are thoughts of peace, man. All right, and not of evil. The scriptures say, who has the Lord ever despised that called upon him? If you call on the name of the Lord, the Lord doesn't have thoughts of evil towards you, man. All right, it says what? To give you an expected end. And what is our expected end? Our expected end is to be delivered from America, man. All right, which is known as Babylon the Great. This is this great uh, whore, man. This great city, Babylon. Okay, which is what? The, the, the place of slavery for the Lord's chosen people, man. All right, that's the expected end. The Lord is going to deliver us from this uh, from this wretched place, man. All right, and He's going to what? Wipe away all the tears. 
all right get away uh take away all the sorrow okay and bring forth joy all right this is verse 12 it says and then shall you call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me and i'll hearken unto you and you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart all right so what we're gonna call on the lord and he's gonna hear us man all right two-thirds they're gonna call on the lord when all hell breaks loose the lord's not gonna hear them man all right but we're not like two-thirds because what we, we're seeking the lord now it says what you shall seek me and find him when you search with all your heart that's why we're searching with the lord with all of our heart continually man. verse 14 it says and i will be found of you saith the lord and i'll turn away your captivity and i'll gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither i have driven you saith the lord and I'll bring you again into the place once I cause you to be carried away captive. All right, so what? We're going to be delivered from this captivity, man. All right, we just got to what? Keep on fighting. Keep on uh, seeking the Lord. All right. Now, this is uh, Second Ezra. All right, chapter 2. And verse... Let me read a couple of scriptures out of here. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 2 and 13. It says, Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that, ye, that, that they may be shortened. The kingdom was already prepared for you. Watch. All right. So what? We're supposed to hasten the day. All right. The scripture is saying, Knowing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be? All right. So what? We're supposed to be praying that this, this, this society comes to an end man every single day the lord said what the kingdom is already prepared for us watch man all right i'm gonna get another preset real quick and luke all right let's see this is luke chapter 12 verse 32 it's a red letter so you know it's our lord yahweh shah speaking it says fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. All right, so the Lord said, what? Well, fear not, man. All right, so if you have that, that spirit of doubt, that spirit of unbelief, all right, that spirit of fear, you know, it's a, it's a demonic spirit. You got to rebuke it. The Lord said, what? You give us not the spirit of fear, man, but of power and of a sound mind. All right, and we have to understand, like I said in Jeremiah, the Lord has thoughts of peace towards us. And like we just read in Luke, the Lord, it's, just, it's the Lord's good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. All right, the Lord can't wait to see us delivered out of this out of this place, man. Let's get this real quick. In Isaiah, all right, when the Lord talks about when the Lord returns, um, it's lucky. Let's see. This is Isaiah chapter sixty-three, verse four. It says, "The day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come." All right, so this is talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, he's in the heavens. He's on the right-hand side of the heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, and he can't wait to get vengeance, man. Vengeance on, on his enemies. All right, those that pierce him, they're going to be here, and they're going to be getting destroyed when he comes back. All right, but he can't wait to get vengeance on the adversaries of his people, man. All right, these Edomites, all the wickedness that they have done to us over the course of these hundreds of years. All right. The Lord can't wait to get them back for our sake, man, because the Lord loves us, man. All right. And he's jealous. He's a jealous power and he's jealous over his woman, man, All right, which is his people. It says, and the year of my redeem is come. All right. So the time for the Lord to come and redeem us, it is nigh, man. It draws. It's, it's near. All right. And the Lord is about to come quickly, man. All right. And the Lord can't wait. To get us out of this predicament, man. These are things that you have to you have to just meditate on continually, man. All right, so you don't go nuts out here. All right, in Babylon. All right, so let's go back to Second Ezra. All right, because there's literally no hope outside of these scriptures, man. Outside of the hope of these scriptures. All right, this is the only actual hope that we have. Man. So, all right, so this is um Second Ezra chapter two. In verse 26, it says, As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall no one of them perish, for I will require 
them from among thy number. All right, so what? The Lord is going to protect and deliver his servants, man. All right, and those are the, the starting with the apostles and elders and the men of the Lord. All right, that's out here week in and week out. All right, teaching this truth, giving up their life, sacrificing their life in order to teach this word, man. All right? Brothers aren't out here trying to, uh, you know, make it in America or, you know what I mean? They're no longer are we living to the will of the Gentiles or, or living to to do our own will, man. All right, we, we live now, all right, to serve the Lord, man. All right, and there's a reward for serving the Lord, man. The scriptures say in, in, in Psalms, verily there's a reward for the righteous. Verily there's a, there's a God that judgeth in the earth, man. All right, and our Lord, he's not an unrighteous power, man. He's gonna give a, he's gonna give every man a reward according to their, according to their doings, man. All right, and if you've been out here, all right, being faithful unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to the best of your ability, man. Week in and week out, daily fighting. All right, no, you're not gonna perish, man. You're gonna receive immortality, eternal life, man. It says, "Be not weary," verse twenty-seven. Be not weary. When the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance, man. All right, so when when the, when the wicked is getting jacked up, man, we're going to be good, man. We're going to be sealed. It says, the heathen shall envy thee, man, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, save the Lord, man. All right, so it doesn't matter how many people hate us, how many of our enemies come past us. All right, the Lord still has our back, man. And we're going to prevail. All right, now let's get this second edge of 16, and I'll close on this. This is um, second edge chapter 16, and let's see. Let's just read. Uh, uh, let's see, second edge 16, I'll just read verse 70 on down. It says, there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right, so, you know, the trial of our faith is, is near, man. There's nothing to be afraid about, you know. You just know wh what it is. The Lord said, what? If anyone shall live godly in Yahweh Shai, you're going to suffer persecution. So the world, because they hate Yahweh Shai, they hate the Lord, and they don't want him to reign, they're going to come against those that believe in the Lord and trust in the Lord. All right? It says they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, because they're going to be some martyrs, okay? But some of us are are, are not going to be martyrs, man. All right, but martyr martyrdom is part of this this ministry as well. You know, it says uh, for they shall waste and take away their goods, and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. You're going to know who the chosen is, all right, based upon whom the Lord is protecting and delivering in that day, man. It's going to be apparent. It says, Hear, all, hear all ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I'll deliver you from the same. But the Lord's going to deliver us, all right, from this trouble that's at hand. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is your guide. The Lord is our guide, man. So there's no need to fear, all right? It says, And the God of them who keeps my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right, because the scriptures say, blessed is he whose conscience is not condemned him, man. All right, so don't let your sins weigh you down. Just offend less and do more for the Lord, and you're going to be all right. Those words edifying. Call Allah, Yahweh, Shah. All right, Shalom.